President Biden says the buck stops with him, but the guy just can't stop blaming others for his own mistakes. The defensive president keeps passing the blame for the complete Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. Biden trying to throw the intelligence community under the bus. There was no consensus. You go back and look at the intelligence reports. They said that it was like more likely to be sometime by the end of the year. Your top military advisors warned against withdrawing on this timeline. They wanted you to keep about 2,500 troops. No, they didn't. It was split. That, that, that wasn't true. That wasn't true. So no one, no one told your military advisors did not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No, no one said that to me that I can recall. So that's three different answers he's given, right? Dana, he said it in the brief, uh, uh, question and answer session uh, last month, no. Then he said it was split, and then again he said no. But which then what one did is he, it? But what did he add at the end of the last one, which is not that I recall. Not that I recall. And that is a way to, one, I mean, that could be the case. I'm sure he, he gets a lot of briefings. But we know that back in April, in the White House briefing room, they said that the military suggested this. And we knew this because it was on the front page of every paper. Right. I mean, if you read any, any of the news, it was there. We covered it at the time as we're following the story. And it, it, certainly it's a fact that intelligence reports are a judgment call. It's, this is our best assessment. This is what we have right now. But the reason that a commander in chief is there is because you get to make the decision. You have to make the decision. That is a decision making job. So the decision does rest with him. And I, I think that when you have tension between intelligence community and a president, that's never good for anybody. And President Trump, former President Trump, he came out and had a statement that said, basically, you get the equipment out, then you get the interpreters out, then you get the people out, and the last people that come out are the military. Biden did it in reverse. Right. Uh, it seems like when Biden talks about this, he at least believes he's being truthful. He's wanted the troops out. He was focused on the troop level because that was going to be the political win. Right. If we get, he got him down to a few hundred, right? And so he was going to take them down. Originally, the date was 9-11. That was just, well, appalling. So he, they moved it up to late August. But he was most focused. So you take the troops out, which is, and I talked to somebody about this today, common sense says you get the civilians out, including the Afghan allies, then the diplomats, and the last people to leave are your military, are yeah. the, the people on the ground. And in terms of the intelligence, couldn't Joe Biden use a like a laptop from Hunter to pop up now uh, or a, a, you know, crack sex tape to show up. But see, the intel community has turned against him, so I guess that won't just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> so, Geraldo, they're going to have hearings on this, they're saying, in September, and they're going to have people testifying from the intelligence community. You know, what did you know? When did you know it? What did you tell the president? They're going to subpoena documents. How's that going to shake out? Well, you know, Dana knows government much better than I. That's not necessarily. No, I, I believe that. I really respect you because you have a depth of knowledge that I, they, I have a kind of a superficial uh, knowledge. Wait a second. But did Geraldo just say somebody does something better than him? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I've got, I've got, I think there's a button I got a million, I got I a million a yards. We got, we're going to have to shut down the show because this is too weird. This is bigger, this is bigger than Watergate. I, I think that the intelligence community is full of crap. I think they're totally self-inflated. I think they're the most important people in Washington. They go around strutting around. Oh, I know. I got this. And I, anytime I see them overseas, they don't know. They're cocktail people. They're chartered jet people. They're not the, they're not the grunty people that got Osama bin Laden in the, in the, in the movies. I, I just think that uh, this, those people that were advising, and they, and they, they they're, you know what they do best? Leak. So they're this great, is CYA. They're great you're leakers. Saying. But you see what? Okay. But, let, but I, I have to just give you one factoid right now: the banks in Afghanistan are empty. There's not a dime left. They robbed everything. The United States has cut off all credit to Afghanistan. Nobody's picking up the garbage. The lights are going to go out soon. That are still that are still burning. There's, the water's not going to be working in a, in a little bit. There's those cell phones they all treasure. The cell towers are going to go down. The the reason the Taliban is playing ball right now is they know they have not a, a chance in, in Shinola to get that fixed without a whole lot of help. And if they don't play ball and let these people out, you know, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm not uh, trying to uh, uh, justify the mistakes that were made by us. 
But I believe that this situation, while not redeemable, we're not going to ever go back to Afghanistan. We do have some leverage right now to have a humane evacuation. But I think America has to come to grips with the fact that we're going to have tens of thousands of Afghans coming to America. Get over it. We're going to absorb. Right, well, we're we're, we're basically have... paying all these people to come out. That's what's happening. Yeah, well, and, yes. then we, and then when it's done, yeah, China them. and Pakistan are going to swoop in with the cash. Greg. The, um, anytime you, tr you decide you're going to leave, that's sending a signal, no matter what. So I find the, 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 the worst thing that Biden is doing is blaming the Afghan army and saying that they didn't fight as hard. Because if you know that the exit's coming, and everybody apparently knew this was coming... They also knew that the Taliban was going to become the new boss. So why tangle with the new landlord? If you know that you're not going to get air power and you know the United States is leaving, it seems that the fast transition that the Afghan army was allowing was just them looking out for their self-interest. It's like, what, like, why fight? Why go down with the ship, right? If the ship, why don't I just, you know, I don't want them to kill my family, so we'll just let them. And they made deals. I think in terms of accountability, they have, we have to go further back there were, so, I mean, I mean, again, I always say it's on my head. I take responsibility for ignoring certain things, and I, you know, I ignored claims of uh, well-documented uh, uh, stories about fraud and misuse of funds because it wasn't like it was Afghanistan. It was so confusing and blah blah blah, and, or it was maybe it was just part of anti-war assumptions that I thought were silly. But they ended up being right. You're talking like six hundred billion dollars lost in grifting and corruption out of if, if out of a war that cost over a trillion. That needs to be looked at. Where did this money go? Who who wanted this war to keep going to make money? I think is a really good thing. And lastly, just a recommendation for a movie. One of the best war movies is an Afghanistan movie called The Beast. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but it's probably How about around. The uh, I never saw that. Well, I don't know if good it's book. a movie. The, the book's the better book. than the yeah, movie, Geraldo. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see it. Right, Dana? <laughs> I was actually just going to say that. That's right. Dana and I know. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.